Hello and welcome back to the channel. As always, I'd like to thank those of you who have watched the videos, who have liked and subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much. I'll keep making the videos if you keep watching them. Also, I'd like to say a huge shout out to Julie, Carl, Luke and of course Craig from Vector Air who have kindly lent me this. This is brand new to the UK, the Epic 2 air rifle from Epic Air Guns. Now, I've been super excited about trying this rifle out since I first saw it on the IWA 2023 shooting show. And also, more recently, I've seen a number of different videos popping up across Europe um, showing how accurate this particular rifle is at long distance. Having said that, I'm a bit mindful that those particular rifles could be uh, obviously shooting high power. This one is the UK Sub-12 177 with the 550 millimeter barrel. This particular rifle is or has the hype because of its customization features. Um, essentially, it has a number of different feature sets which allow you to change the barrel. In the high power versions, it comes with an external regulator adjuster so you can tune the regulator to whatever you're shooting in terms of pellets or slugs. It also has an internal, uh, essentially, barrel, which is, according to the website, called a CUB non-choked barrel. There's different lengths depending on which rifle length you order, ranging from 300 millimeters, 420 millimeters, 550, which this is, and 700. Uh, I believe the 700 is in the UK only for FAC. Um, but the particular barrel that's in this is essentially a CZ barrel which has multiple transfer ports and you can essentially adjust its rigidity based on the power that you're shooting. And I think that would be more appropriate to how power versions. This one in particular hasn't got the uh, custom, uh, the external regulator adjuster. I'll show you where that's supposed to sit in a moment, but it's still has a number of very, very cool features for a sub-12 air rifle, which I'll go over momentarily. And again, from my perspective, I'm super keen to try out. Before we go over the rifle, I'll just say that yesterday when I got it, I quickly just opened the box, took a picture of it, and then just now I've taken out the box so I can give you my initial impressions. Um, looking at the box, it comes in a nice Negrini hard case. When I opened the box yesterday, I saw that a silencer had been attached kindly by the guys at Vector Air. It's a Epic branded one specifically for 177 caliber. And also they kindly attached a Vector Optics Continental 3 to 18 by 50. Um, having said that, I'm super keen to try that out. But also I might try out one of my bent dress copes 10 to 50 by 60 to see how this rifle performs at, uh, at longer distance. In the box came a test sheet a product inspection card it also came with a little box which had this which i think maybe attaches onto the end of the barrel uh, obviously it came attached with a silencer it also comes with just one magazine i'm disappointed that it only comes with one magazine as opposed to two and or some form of single shot tray this 177 magazine takes 13 shots and one of the I suppose good things about this is it's 14 millimeters in depth, which allows you to shoot your choice of pellets or slugs. It comes with different O-rings and over here, and it comes with a filler probe, which has a foster fill adapter built in. Also, it came with this, which I don't know what it is, uh, a number of pins. But anyway, let's start looking at the rifle. So just some quick basic specs um, from what I've read of this particular rifle. Give me one moment. I'm just trying to huh, get onto the website. Now, this is a proper ambidextrous rifle uh, in the fact that you can re remove the uh, Bathlon lever and also the safety from the right hand side to the left hand side. Um, it's got an AR style grip. I'll show you that in a moment. It's got a, again, I'm just shouting out some basic specs, but I'll come to them in a minute. It's got a max full pressure of 300 bar. 
So, you know, quite a large shock cap. The only thing is I don't know how large the air cylinder is. Uh, I know the regulator on this, I had a quick peek at it. It's set quite high and I'll show you that in a moment. It's got full adjustability at the back in terms of the rear section or the adjustable folding stock. This one is the tactical stock, as you can see. But again, according to the Epic Air Guns website, it comes with, or there is very soon coming out, two of the stocks, a wooden one and also a laminate one. Um, let's think what else there is. Well, let's, let's just go and have a look closely and then we'll go over the different things as we come to them. So let's have a look at the adjustable stock. I mean, firstly, I will say that this has some weight to this rifle. And I will say that this particular back piece, when I got it out of the box, felt very, very solid and it did ooze quality. And also the adjustability was simple. Essentially, you've got some locking nuts over here so you can undo that. And with the simple rotation here, you can extend and bring in the butt pad. Same with over here, you can raise or lower the cheek piece. There you go. Just lock it in place over here. The main selling point with this is that you can fold this with the press of a button over here. Let's just bring this closer. And just with this button, by pressing it over here, now this, I'll say this, when, when you fold it like this, there's no movement, there's no rattle, it's just solid. And it folds over very nicely to this particular hole over here. Let's just get it on camera there. And this particular piece folds into that. Let's just, without ruining my makeshift set, see if I can get it on camera. And over it goes and it clicks in place. There, a solid click. Now that thing is, it doesn't go, it, well, to be fair, you need a little bit of uh, strength just to just to lift it out. But if you're worried that this thing is going to pop out, if you're thinking about buying this and taking it out in the field, no, it, it's, 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 it's there. It's, it's in place. Although having said that, this is what it looks like on the 550, folded over. But I think the folding stock would definitely benefit a compact version of this particular rifle if you're thinking about buying one for the field. But again, for transport purposes, to be fair, it comes in this nice Negrini hard case. So, you know, it fits really nicely in the Negrini hard case with the stock folded out. So I think this, the folding stock is just an additional extra on this particular length of rifle. I think it will have definitely more benefit on a more compact version because definitely you want a folding stock like that if you're thinking about going out um, in the field using the, this as a tool for hunting, for example. So let's just open it again. You've got, again, nice defined click open. As he says, you need a little bit of strength to open it. There you go. And it clicks in place really nicely. There we go. And again, no movement. It's solid, which is exactly what you want. OK, and let's have a look at this. AR style grip, three different levels of stippling. Very nice. You've got very nice, smooth motion on this Bathlon lever. So essentially just to this first position here, there's no spring. But it stops there and essentially there's a very, very light m movement from that position to the back where it cocks in place and then it simply springs back in to home position. All very smooth, all very, very, very well machined. And then in terms of firing, I'll give it a fire. It's two stage trigger. This again, feels very, very, it feels like it's oozing quality in fairness. And I'm told that this trigger system is modular as well in the fact that you can take the whole trigger system out and adjust and replace it when um, Epic bring out new trigger systems or even third parties. But just to let this off, nice first stage and then, wow, very nice, clean, crisp release on the second. Let's just cock it again. There we go. And then cock. 
and then superb the Picatinny rail has 30 MOA built in it comes with an Arca Swiss rail built in at the bottom there is a gap over here really nicely which allows you to adjust your trigger the manometer at the bottom is for the regulator let's have a look it's set to I don't know if you can see that it's set to 150 bar and that's because I said before that the air cylinder goes up to 300 bar now this is the air cylinder that's the regulator and that's the power plenum I'm told that there's three different size plenums they go up to maximum 130 uh, cc but I don't think that on sub 12 this particular power plenum will go up to 130. I think it'll be a lot less than that. Um, let's just have a look at the air cylinder. At the front, you've got another manometer giving you a readout of how much air is in the cylinder. This one's saying currently 200. You've got over here at the front, the filler, you put the uh, essentially air filler probe in here. Nice to find clicks on the cover. Let's just turn it round. Actually, let's just look at the silencer very quickly. The silencer looks very nice, although interestingly enough, it's got these holes in. So again, I don't know. And again, something I'm mindful of is the website says it's half inch UNF. Let's just have a quick look. don't know you know <laughs> if that's half inch UNF or not that's just look that's interesting and again look at look at that down the barrel there so I don't I don't know if that's half inch UNF or not interesting let's just turn this round over here and then Let's look at the rifle from this side, starting from the back, slowly going forward. Now, I believe the external regulator adjuster on the FAC versions would be here, and it comes with a key to allow you to do it. But obviously, this one is sub 12, so I'm sure it's also got anti tamper fitted too. Should we see what the stock looks like when you fold it over and, and it's in this position. Just click it in place. There we go. That's what the rifle looks like there. And let's just pop it back. Again, just pull it open and simply lock it back into position. So the magic of this is I've also told is this barrel, the fact that it is a CZ barrel, which has some form of obviously adjustment to it to make it a CUB barrel, according to Epic Air Guns. So I'm super keen to see for myself if this is indeed accurate, a sub 12. The videos I've seen, as I mentioned, show how accurate this is uh, abroad but I'm mindful that the particular rifles may be obviously more powerful than um, uh, 12 foot pounds but from my perspective I'm very very keen to try this out and thank you very much again Vector Air for lending this to me so please stay tuned to the channel to see how this rifle performs I've been told as well very quickly that it's not pellet fussy. It likes a great deal of different types of pellets. I can't wait to see if it likes JSBs or QIS or HNNs. Let's see. And fingers crossed, let's see if this is definitely um, in league with one of the top three rifles for 2024, following my recent videos of what I believe were the top three rifles for 2023. But for now, th uh, this brings me to the end of my initial impressions vi video for 
the Epic 2 from Epic Air Guns. Once again, thank you very much to Vector Air for lending this to me. And thank you very much for tuning in. Please stay tuned for the follow-up video for this and also for the other rifle that Vector Air kindly lent me, which I'll again be doing another initial impressions of very, very soon. But for now, thank you very much. Take care, look after yourselves, and I will see you all very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.